Hello again. Now, the ITV News in London. Two teenagers have appeared in court charged with the murder of a man in Peckham Rye. Kalabe Legese was found with stab wounds in Peckham Rye Park at the end of December. 19-year-old Nashun Thomas and a 16-year-old, who cannot be named for legal reasons, appeared before Croydon Magistrates Court this morning. They will appear again at the Old Bailey on Tuesday. Merton Council leader says missing out on levelling up funds is a kick in the teeth for his residents. The council had bid for money to regenerate Morden Town Centre. 111 bids across the UK were successful, with just eight projects in London granted funding. Merton Council say London must not be forgotten in levelling up plans. We uh, are a London borough in outer London, uh, and we have our own challenges around uh, health deprivation, uh, and uh, poverty as well. And we are uh, in much of need as, as levelling up funding uh, as other communities up and down this country. Now, in Tooting, one girl is proving that someone little can make a big difference. Six-year-old Isla Urquhart is riding 100 kilometres on her bike this month to raise money for her local food bank. Anila Dami went to meet her. At the young age of six and a half, Isla Urquhart has a big mission. After missing out on her school's shoebox appeal at Christmas, she's taken it upon herself to cycle to raise money for a local food bank and community kitchen in Tooting. It's very cold and rainy, but it is fun. She's over halfway to pedalling towards her 100-kilometre target by the end of January. What do you think about when you're cycling? Well, I think about that I'm going to get to a warm school and I'm also going to raise money for people who might not have a home. And money she has raised, well exceeding her own fundraising goal. Mummy asked me what I wanted my target to be, how much money I should raise, and I said £100, but at the moment I've got £660. Wow! How do you feel about the amount of money you've raised so far? Very happy. Having never cycled before, Isla now does five kilometres to school and five back, passing through Tooting Commons, tackling the bustling streets with her mum and dad in tow. It's great that she's had the initiative to, to step up and want to give back to her local community. She went out this week and cycled in minus four one morning and minus two another morning and you know, she didn't complain and, and, and didn't moan. Tooting Community Kitchen is run by volunteers who provide food for people in need and help the homeless. Isla is amazing. She's just like, wow. She's brilliant. We couldn't exist if we didn't have donations. The demand grows and grows every single week. But TCK doesn't just belong to us, it belongs to the whole community. And Isla has proven every generation can play its part in its community. Anil Adami, ITV News. Now, the UK's oldest toy museum has closed its doors. Pollock's Toy Museum in Fitzrovia housed around uh, thousands of old toys, including teddy bears, dolls and games. is shut after the owners were unable to negotiate a new contract uh, with the building in Scala Street. The museum is appealing for a new home. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the sports now. Zero Accounting Software. Sponsors ITV Regional Sports Report. Now, it was a game to forget at today's early kickoff between Liverpool and Chelsea. It was a 0-0 draw at Anfield after Chelsea hit this goal disallowed for offside just three minutes into the match. It means reaching fourth place looks even more difficult for Chelsea. Elsewhere, a welcome win for West Ham and David Moyes with a 2-0 victory against Everton. Crystal Palace are playing in the late kickoff against Newcastle, where the score is currently 0-0. And in the Championship, Millwall lost 1-0 away at Cardiff City. It was a one-all draw for QPR against Swansea and another draw for Watford, who played Rotherham United. That game finished 1-0. Here's the weather. Feels like home, whatever the weather. Valent boilers and heat pumps. Sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather.
Hi there, good evening. I'm afraid to say the rather chilly weather continues and unfortunately we're going to start to see less in the way of lovely winter sunshine. The reason for this, we've got high pressure dominating the weather. It's sort of killing off the fronts, but it is leaving us with increasing amounts of cloud over the next few days. You're going to really have to wait until the middle to even latter part of the week to see temperatures really start to recover. Now through the evening and overnight, well, because we've had the sunshine today, we get clear skies overnight. We start to see increasing amounts of quite heavy frost and and because of the light breezes, you see these white patches, particularly skirting around the uh, whole of London, increasing amounts of fog. And some of it is set to be freezing fog. It's why the yellow warning uh, we have from the Met Office is for the effects of the fog. And that could impact the lights of Heathrow and Gatwick and also do take care on the roads. Now, as far as tomorrow goes, yes, we'll have some nice sunshine once again. It'll help melt back the frost, but also uh, the mist and fog. Some freezing fog patches could take a little longer to shift, and that's where you'll see temperatures really struggle. Three, four or five at best through Sunday, so that in turn is about two or three degrees down where we'd expect at this time of year. Monday sees a bit more cloud around. It's fairly high cloud, but it is still going to be chilly. Highs around four Celsius to start the week. Should be some bright spells, though, as I say. And then we start to see more widespread cloud on Tuesday. So it's going to be rather grey and cold with highs of five. You're going to have to wait, as I say, until the middle part of the week to see temperatures slowly recover. Bailant sponsors ITV London Weekend Weather. Uh, that's all from the London team for now. We are back tomorrow just after six. Until then, I do hope you enjoy your evening. Bye-bye for now.